Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and I wanted to say Merry Christmas to everyone, and also Happy New Year. So we are getting into the last few days of 2019. There's only five more days left in 2019, and then it's going to be a brand new decade. So 2020 is ringing in not just a new year, but also a new decade. So when you think back about the last decade of your life, you know, where were you 10 years ago? And where do you want to be 10 years from now? I think it's very interesting because uh, a lot of times people go into the beginning of the year with New Year's resolutions. But I think this year uh, is different. For me, I'm thinking not about resolutions per se, but about the idea of visualizing and manifesting and creating exactly what I want right from the outset, even before, even before midnight has struck on December 31st taking exactly what I want to want to achieve and manifest and accomplish and what I all my desires all of my highest desires and envisioning those things right now and taking that into 2020 to manifest for my own self and so it is an important year 2020 and if you did not have the year trading if you traded this year in 2019 and you did not have the year that you want uh, you can take the next couple of days and think about it and start to think about having a better year for 2020 and, and envisioning and believing that you can. So I think a lot of this has to do with confidence, self-assurance, self-reliance. Uh, I talk about conviction as well. And, it, and really also listening to your inner self and your intuition. It's something that I'm very good at. Uh, and it's something actually that you can learn from me. I think that a lot of people do not trust their own choices about trades. They do not trust their own choices about making money. They don't trust their own choices about career, uh, relationships, everyday things. And I, and I think that people need to listen to their inner voice a little bit more. Uh, and I think 2020 is a good year for that. So I'm going to talk a lot about the meaning of the year 2020 in the new decade. And I've started to do it. I'm going to continue to do it even into uh, January. So I'm going to read something to you to you now. For those of you that do uh, are aware of numerology, I believe the numbers are very important. Uh, numbers are a big part of the universe, and I definitely believe in the meaning of numbers. And it's one of the reasons why I'm so good at finance and anything that has to do with numbers. I've always had a sharp mind for numbers, and and it's helped me in life to become successful. So I'm going to read this here. Uh, and again, the year is 2020 that we're coming up to. So 2020 is, is considered an angel number. Angel number two is a symbol of duality, but also a symbol of communication with the divine forces. This angel number is telling you to be strong and to believe in their intentions. When angel number two enters your life, you know it is time to sit back and have patience for the future. No matter what happens in your life, you need to have faith in yourself and your capabilities. Only you can make your life perfect and just the way you want it to be. To be. So that I wholeheartedly believe in. So if you've been in this rut with your trading or your finances, it's time to move on, get out of that rut, and take some chances and leap into the next year of your life. And 2020 is a leap year, so it's time to leap ahead. Leap ahead and take some risk. Take some risk in life, take some risk in romance, take some risk in finances so that you can move forward. And again, it's a leap year. So all of these things are not coincidental. They're all lining up for you to create the life that you want. So it's gonna be up to you. Either you're gonna make it happen or you're not. You know, I talked to so, so, so many people uh, that attempt to trade the market and, and they fail. They fail miserably for years and years and years. Longer than I'm even alive, people are failing and attempting to trade the market and losing money. That does not have to be your destiny. If you believe that is your destiny, then it will continue to be the future for you. In other words, you'll if you lost in 2019, and you go into 2020 and you don't do anything different, then you're going to lose in 2020 if you continue to trade as well. I teach people my strategy and my system so they can learn what I know so that they can be successful. So I teach my knowledge to people and also what I know about the understanding of how you have to think about money in order to be successful because it all goes together like a sandwich, okay? You have the two pieces of bread and the cheese together. It all goes together like a nice sandwich, and you have to have all of the pieces of the puzzle together. So it's the knowledge, and it's the right attitude that you need as well. And then also the mentorship, which people get from me when they come, and they become a Golden Gap Course student, and they learn from me. Every trade I called in the last 
in the last week worked. Some beautiful trades right here at the end of the year. Every single one worked. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm in the zone. I've been in the zone for 2019. I'm looking forward to 2020 to have it be the biggest year so far of my life yet. And I am excited to share that with my students. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. We're going to continue to talk about the meaning of 2020. It is a significant year. It's going to be a significant year for me. It is going to be a significant year for the stock swoosh. I'm already manifesting things that I want for myself, and they're already starting to happen. So don't wait until midnight. Start to think about it today. Believing in yourself and trusting yourself is really, really important. And I think the key piece here, uh, interesting, is about, you know, having faith in yourself, which is really trusting yourself. And for me, it's your intuition. It's that it's that sixth sense. It's that extra thing sometimes actually that makes me see uh, one stock or another stock or the market uh, to see the direction even to. So it's combining my own personal intuition with my knowledge, which is what I teach in the class, but actually with my intuition that led me to create my system to begin with, which is why the system is so powerful and it works. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at Happy New Year, everyone, and have a safe holiday.